I got locked up, they won't let me out. No, they won't let me out. I got locked up. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's Shandera. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Well, in today's video, honey, we're going to the joint. <laughs> here is the goodies. I got the Equate Aspirin. Got some hemorrhoid cream. This is what it looks like. And they actually have a little tube for it. So like, I guess you could like put it under your eyes. When I was doing this, the pharmacist was looking at me and asked me, was I hurt for money? <laughs> and I didn't know how to tell her, was I or wasn't? I said no, but then think about it. Should I have said I was hurting for money? And then I realized, no, I do go to Sephora, so it's not like I'm hurting for money, but I'm broke. So it, I don't know how. <laughs> I didn't know how to explain it. I got some Carmex because you could get Carmex on a prison commissary list. I had to do it in my head. I was like, if I was a cook making like a dollar a day, I would have a budget of $15. So I was in the budget a little bit. I spent over $20. The reason why is because of the soaps. I have to buy the whole box of lever. You really want to be bougie, you could get the Dove. But I didn't want to be bougie. I still want to take care of my skin, so I don't want to spend that much money. Hydrocortisone cream just in case you know I'm stressing out from this skincare routine or having some sort of allergic reaction to some of these products <laughs> I got the mini size banana bow I still have the Walgreens sunscreen from the review which is $2.99 they just call it sunblock in prison and it's two dollars and fifteen cents they don't say sunscreen SPF UVA and UV rays like the bougie skincare no it's sunblock okay I got vitamin C the very cheap kind and I also got Suave Lotion. This is the cheapest. They had St. Ives Lotion on the prison commissary list. I just want to let y'all know St. Ives was there. So while y'all out here dragging St. Ives, messy skincare community, like I told y'all, they were always messy. St. Ives is popping in prison. St. Ives was more expensive than Suave. This <laughs> I got baby oil. I have petroleum jelly. Today we're going to do a verse between the Dio and the Lever. I don't know if I should be miserable this video because <laughs> this is like a depressing time going to prison. I'm a little bit too cherry. <laughs> I got my bowl of water. Apparently, my prison uh, liaison told me that I couldn't use glass. I have to use plastic. So he's letting me know what goes down in the joint. I was watching these prison shows. You know. You know. <laughs> the lever smells like my grandma's house. Very clean. And the dial smells like my grandma's house, too. <laughs> Very clean. <laughs> I will say the lever feels much gentler compared to the dial. I'm kind of shocked. So this is the dial. What do you guys think? And this is the lever. I'm not really noticing a difference. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The dial and the lever felt the exact same way. If I was in prison, I would have to pick which one felt better on my skin. And right now, the lever is feeling much better as opposed to the dial. My face feels very tight on the dial side. First thing we're going to do is apply an acne treatment. I'm using the acne treatment gel. I have one right here. And then I have one right here. Um, you know, I'm stressed and I ain't even going to prison. I haven't used Carmex in a while. And you know what? It feels good to use Carmex again. According to my prison liaison, they would take this little tube thing away because apparently you could use it as a shame. I don't know how you're going to use this little... Pl Why is it these holes in it? Okay, I was going to use this as like the eye applicator. Emroy cream is used under the eye. I did extensive research on this prison skincare routine. The lady in this article, I think it was either she did it in a magazine for 17. She was like the prison go-to person. And she said that hemorrhoid cream under her eye was like a luxury I'm going to apply just a little bit of moisturizer because I feel like I'm gonna be going outside soon the Walgreens sensitive uh, sunscreen I am going to be in the shade when we go out to the yard so <laughs> girl I really think I'm in prison honey <laughs> Today, I'm making a vitamin C serum because I'm in prison and I'm up in this joint 
And you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. I wanna say that so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna put like four of the vitamin C tablets, is that four? in a plastic bag. Let me find something to crush them up. Like, I couldn't figure, should I really do this prison style or should I just use a mallet and just call it a day? Um, I don't have time to be trying to beat it with a book, so we gonna just pretend we in the real world for five seconds. Gently <laughs> tap meat, meat thingy, you know, meat thing in the kitchen, you know, if y'all don't have one, it's like a meat, meat beater. And I'm just gently tapping the vitamin C um, just to get it into a little powder. It came out really, really nice. I am actually shocked. It almost looks like flour. I know someone gonna say, no, it look like something else. Well, you know, you be, you be the judge of that, honey. <laughs> I've been doing the routine, but I'm finally getting into adding the vitamin C serum. So this is normally what I use in my routine. I got my coffee filter here. So we gonna do this how they would do in prison. Y'all know they very creative in prison. So I have to be very creative here. <laughs> oh, this is dusty. Oh my God, this look like flour. Is that a hair? Oh my God, how did a hair get in there? hair come from you <laughs> there was a hair what in the ghetto is going on in this jail cell <laughs> right. so let's add the baby oil i don't want to use too much it's coming out it's good y'all see it dripping okay so i'm gonna let it drip <laughs> looks milky white can y'all see See that milky white color? So I washed my face. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dry my face. Now I'm gonna finally put my vitamin C serum on. Aw, uh, it's a little gritty, but it's not that bad. <laughs> I'm oil cleansing with baby oil. I found like one blackhead. Here it is. Can y'all see that blackhead? There it go. I just found one. And I've been doing this for like 20 minutes. So I don't know if oil cleansing with baby oil is something you really want to do i know people are probably like i can't believe she put baby oil on her face i really don't see the difference between me applying baby oil on my face and the mineral oil in your cerave girl okay let's don't don't judge me when you rolling around with mineral oil in your cerave for the record i mean y'all gotta do what i gotta do okay <laughs> well I'm breaking out. <laughs> maybe it's the stress of being in a joint. Uh, maybe it's the skincare. I don't know, but I'm breaking out. What y'all look at? It is getting worse, y'all. Look, just look at them. The side of my face is like a bit of a rash. Can y'all see? I'm not a part of any gang affiliation. This got bleach on it. No gang affiliation, no, no crib, no blood over here. I should've wore a red one so I could say unity for all kumbaya, my lord. I am not part of it. I was trying to find a neutral color, but I couldn't and I didn't want to wear the same one. I also want to let you guys know I have discontinued using the hemorrhoid cream under my eye. Uh, for some odd reason, I'm getting high. <laughs> I know, you know. <laughs> I may be a single woman after this video because apparently Josh told me that he married me because uh, my face was pretty. He's embarrassed because I'm applying hemorrhoid cream to my eyes. With all the drama aside, we are going to be doing an aspirin mask. <laughs> the reason why is because aspirin has a compound in it that mimics salicylic. I like to say salicylic, but it's salicylic acid. It mimics that. I got my baggie of aspirin right here. I didn't crush it up too well, so some of it is still, it's still, Oh, it's still chunky. I should have beat it a little better. Just gonna add water to it because like I said, I'm breaking out really bad. Can y'all see how bad I'm breaking out? Like this one hurts so bad. It's not dissolving. So y'all, this is what we gonna do. <laughs> y'all pray for my skin. Josh is gonna leave me if it gets worse. <laughs> He said him and Sonobi were only gonna see me on Halloween. I'm like, wow, not because I'm interesting, not because I have a graces and humor, because of my face. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my face, but I just wanted to show y'all my acne hurts way less. <laughs> So I'm gonna apply some of that benzoyl peroxide after the salicylic acid. I know it makes no sense, but it's not high doses of salicylic acid. Y'all ever had a situation where the person you with, AKA your husband, <laughs> starts 
getting into this more than you. And so you start like trying to sneak stuff like this. That skincare. And then you start telling about how you end up in a hole. Like you really in the joint. You wear one orange shirt during the video. And then they start acting like <laughs> you really in the joint. I didn't mean like. I don't know if I could continue this, but I do feel like um, my skin is purging. You know, when you're used to CeraVe, like drugstore luxury, and you go down to like, I'm gonna have to go ahead and put some salicylic acid on my face, pal, on the retinol, because I just can't, no, I can't no more. I done broke out, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> we have a lot to discuss, <laughs> so let's talk about it. Being in prison is all about using whatever you have to survive. I don't think any of these products were bad. I will say this, the aspirin mask did help my skin a little bit. Um, it helped with the breakouts I was having. The itching cream did help my neck. Don't put hemorrhoid cream under your eye. Don't put hemorrhoid cream under your eye or you will get high. <laughs> Oh, shout out to all the women in prison. Shout out to you. I love you guys. It's hard to get access to a lot of things in prison. Unless someone sends you something, then it has to go through checks and balances to even get to you. I was reading a lot of forms and people were really giving some good advice on what to use when it comes to skincare and what they use. But I just wanted to stick with the commissary list. And let's just say you don't have a lot of money. You don't have family out there helping you, but you still want to take care of your skin. I think some of these products are great, but your skin's just gonna have to adapt to them at the end of the day. Let me know, have y'all went been to prison? What did y'all use for your skincare? If you've been, y'all know I ain't been, cause I, I look it. <laughs> I didn't even know what to do. I'd probably be crying. <laughs> With that being said, you guys, I want to thank. Wait, no, I won't be scared. I mean, just in case I go to prison and they see this video, I I'm not scared. I will get there. Oh my God, this video is going left. I am getting all right for me. <laughs> With that being said, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video. And make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah.